Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put on a stealth server on your RGH-JTAG Xbox 360 in 2025. Um, there is a couple ways we can go with doing this. We can use the USB method or you can just do the common sense method and just do it from your computer which only takes a couple seconds with a neighborhood um, because to be honest I'm not gonna say I'm lazy but sticking a USB out of, and out of my PC into my console does get a bit annoying and you know that means I have to get out of my chair um, <laughs> we'll just use that for an excuse I'm not, I'm not actually lazy but I'm just gonna use that for an excuse so we're going to be using Neighborhood today. You can download Neighborhood pretty much anywhere. I'm going to leave a link in the description though so you get the right one and don't get, end up getting one what has a, a virus or anything like that. What server we're going to put it on is XP Guard. Nothing but the best. So let's begin. So very simple. Connect to the the uh, the RGH. So depends if you have a server already on it. Um, you should be able to connect, obviously, through here, connect with the, um, <clears throat> the console's IP. Uh, if you cannot connect, you might have to go with the USB route. Um, but I've already got a server on at the moment, which is cheaper, which I'm going to be going back over to XP Guard, <clears throat> which I, is already connected to the internet, and as you can see right here, it is, um, already connected. But... With the USB method, it's very easy, guys. Put it on a USB. So let's. I'm just gonna show you this real quick because it's really not that hard. It's very simple. Here's the folder with all the stuff here. So there's two options. You can put it on a USB and run it on a USB, or you could put it on the HDD and run the, the server server off the HDD. So to be honest, that's. Why is that plain? <laughs> but um, I'm going to put it on the HCD. Um, so if you are using it, if you want to, if you're going to be putting it on the console, use the HCD. If you're going to be using it on the USB, use the USB. Simple as that. I'm going to be using HCD today, so I better go back to my downloads and instruct that, so we can open it up. There we go. I'm going to open up the console. There we go. Gonna go to HDD when it wants to load. And then I'm going to be removing this old stealth server, what is on here at the moment. So where are we at? We've got the JR PC. Uh, we'll delete if I can delete them both at once. There you go. Um, we're just going to leave that stuff on there. I'm going to go HD. We're going to drag all that onto there, just like that. And just to show you that we uh, do have a different server on at the moment, we will go boom. There we go. As you can see, we do have the cheaper cell server on. We're going to go and turn off the the RGH. Wait for that to turn off. Sometimes you have to click it again. For it to turn off, turn it back on. And when you run a new server, sometimes the console may reboot a couple times. Um, that's just because it's just setting up files and stuff like that. Don't worry. A lot of servers do this where it turns off, turns back on, turns off, turn backs on. Uh, and sometimes you could even have that happen nearly three times. Um, we're just waiting for the console to boot up. And if you have the launch launch uh, dot on i, obviously right here, it should automatically select all the um, should all do or should organise all the plugins and the um, all the options in uh, lash dash launch. It should with all the network options and stuff like that. It should automatically select the the, the ones what it should be enabled. Just waiting for this console to boot up, which does take a little bit. Sometimes I turn it off and turn it back on. If a thing wants to do that, we'll reboot that again. And it actually is very loud. You probably hear that through the microphone how loud it is. You 
is taking a little bit for some reason. But um, to be honest, I'd rather just do it all on the PC, set it with the USB anyways, because then you don't have to go into XTX menu um, and then transfer the files over or anything like that. Um, there we go, we're booting up. And it should boot us straight in. We do ha might have to wait a second for it to connect. Um, it is a bit of an issue with XB Guard. I think it's to do with people not being able to crack it or something like that. Uh, you're probably wondering why. But it obviously is just a security thing with the still server. Sometimes you might have to sign in and you might get a connection prompt. There we go. And sometimes it does take a little while to, to set up the uh, self server for the first time when putting it on the console. There you go, connected successfully. Connected Xbox Live. And boom, there we go. Did look like it did crash then, but. Might have to do a reboot real quick. And as you can see, it did cop a crash or a freeze. But it should boot up fast this time, it should. We'll reboot that. And then when we reboot, I will show you how to do that in XCX menu. Um, if you cannot ever get your console to connect to um, neighborhood. That's okay. We'll wait here for just a second. Might try and sign back in again. We'll connect. And there we go, connected. Might exit out that. Wait for it to do its thing. Loading, here we go. And it does, this is probably only because it's the first time actually putting the, con the self serve on the console. Being that it does take a little while just, just to set everything up and um, and it's usually, it's not like this every time, it's usually just the first time and then it's not just because of the stealth server, it's, it can happen with any other stealth server as well. Um, just wait for this just to load when it wants to. There we go, boom, signed in, and boom, there we go. Simple as that. Now we're online, as you can see. We're online, we can do anything we want, we can go on the menu. Try that, easy as that. So, how do you do it with the USB? So, very simple, go over to XX menu, 1.2. And once you are in here, very simple, that's the HDD one, as you can see up where the little Xbox thing is. So basically, stick in the USB, and it should appear, as you can see, USB zero, and there is the still server on the USB. So obviously, press Y, so we're gonna go up the top, press one, copy, and then once you copy that, go left on the D-pad, 
and then left on D pad again, or you, or you could go right and then take it over to the H to D1, and then go uh, Y again, and then just press pace. And then once you've done that, go back over to here again, and then you just want to copy and paste all these into H to D1 in the HDD1, and then reboot the console and you'll have the stealth server on. Simple as that, it's not that hard at all. Um, and the stealth server should select all the um, dash launch um, plugins. Um, as you can see there, it's selected how it goes. Um, the XB, X, XD, oh, XBDM is always the top one. Your stealth server is always the second. And I usually go for the JRPC2 for plugin free. If I'm using different menus or anything like that which require plugin free, I will obviously run the menu in plugin free or plugin four. But usually, start most menus for GTA and stuff that usually run at plugin free. So um, sometimes I usually run that JRPC. PC2 for plugin 5. Um, for network, it's usually some of this stuff does get enabled, but obviously it doesn't need to get enabled for FB Guard. Um, but some servers do require some stuff in here. Um, and obviously, for behavior, it, it, would, it would just do all its thing. You shouldn't need to come in here. You shouldn't really need to touch dash launch after putting on the surf server. It should just launch everything um, as normal. But um, if you don't have that launch.ii file, obviously your console more likely won't launch or it won't obviously launch the... It will launch, but it won't launch the self server. But if you put a self server on and you run into an issue where... Your console does not want to boot. Um, very simple fix. We'll just go back over to the PC real quick. Um, there we go. So if your console cannot boot, go into here. All you want to do is just delete all that, save it, and then put the launch, just, just a straight bare launch file on the USB. Stick it in there with no. Don't put it on with a self server. Just put it on with. You can use. It, you can use it with the self server, but it, you're better off just putting that straight on USB and then launch the console, and it should bypass the the issue with the uh, logo um, when it doesn't want to load um, stuff like that. And you're probably wondering what what does cause that. It could be a lot of options, to be honest, what causes that issue. Um, but, yeah, I, to be honest, I don't really know. But it could just be a bad, bad issue. It could have been that they obviously didn't um, select something in um, launch pad or la dash launch or whatever. But um, that's pretty much how you do it, guys. It's that simple. I shouldn't really want to show how to do this in 2025, being that, it, you know, consoles have been out for years. But it's always good to do an updated video. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do have issues, um, please feel free to drop a comment. Join the Discord. Create a ticket. Uh, don't message me. Just create a ticket, and I will have a look when I am free. Um, and don't just go message me and trying to call me on Discord. Like, seriously, you, do you actually think I am going to answer your phone call and have a conversation with you? Seriously. <laughs> oh, gosh. But uh, that's how you do it, guys. Uh, I'm out of here. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.